Today I'll show you how to create this clay render effect in Glow. And in part 2 I'll show you even easier way in Blender. Part 1 Glow. So first as usual let's open our project file in Glow. I have my outfit here and the studio background. You can download one or create one yourself or just use the color for the background in the render properties. Now let's go to render window and render the garment with the textures. Also I would suggest to open custom view and save your frame in case you move your camera or something. You will still be able to render second image in the exactly same position. When you are happy with the camera position click custom view and it will be saved. In the property editor select your image size. I usually do 920 times 1080 for social media animations. Select save path, rename this render to color. I'll keep the lighting settings exactly the same. These are my render settings. Now let's render this image. When we finish rendering this image, now we will have to change the texture and the color to white. Obviously it doesn't have to be white, you can use any color or texture you, you like. Let's go to simulation window and create a new fabric. Then select all your patterns and assign this new fabric. We can call it clay. We can change the material type to plastic, metal or anything else. I'll keep matte and just change the roughness and reflection a little bit. I also have to change the avatar and choose texture separately. If you have any trims or top stitching, you can go to colorways window and just change the colors there. After all of this is done, it's time to render. Let's go to render window, double click on custom view to have the exact same frame as in rend first render. We have to change the render name to clay or white. We can also adjust the lighting if we see it doesn't really work great with all the white textures. Finally, render this image. And then it's ready to import to Instagram or TikTok. Just choose a complementing sound and adjust the length of each image. Part 2 Blender. Now I'll show you how to do this in Blender. And as I said, personally I think it's even easier. First open our project and render the image with all the textures. Save the image as color. For the clay render, first create a new material, name it clay, adjust the roughness and color if you want. Then go to view layers, overwrite, material overwrite and select clay. I'm using HDRI for my background so I'll just quickly add a new plane, shift A. Um, rotate this and scale the plane to fill the background. If the lighting is too harsh or bright, adjust it. I just reduce the intensity a little bit of my HDRI. After, go to layout and render the image. When it's done, don't forget to save this image as clay and it will be ready to be posted. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or requests, let me know. I'm more than happy to create content that is actually helpful. And also I would really appreciate if you would give me a like or subscribe to this channel so I could reach and help even more people interested in digital fashion. Bye!